welcome back to Sarah's SoCal Garden. This is the beginning of a new garden vlog and it is absolutely gorgeous out here. It's in the 80s in March and this is great. Someone wants to say hi to you guys. Hi guys! <laughs> Alright. He doesn't like being picked up. I stopped at one of my local um, Dollar Trees and I'm going to show you guys some pots I actually found there. So I got these for sowing seeds and they were one dollar each and it looks like it comes with 12. It comes with 12 each, so a dollar each. And then I also got to experiment. I'm going to be using plastic cups. I'm just going to need to punch some holes in the bottom. Okay, so first on my list what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sowing some seeds. So I think I'm going to do the cucumber, the Mexican sour gherkin. This is from the recent video that I just posted, hauling all of my online seed orders. So they look like tomato seeds. And there's one hiding in the bottom. So I'm going to do, let's see. Four, there, and I wanted to transplant these into bigger pots than I normally would. I mean, sew them into pots I normally would. Only because I want them to be nice and strong and I don't want to fiddle around with them. Okay, so next I'm going to be sewing this heirloom big rainbow tomato. And I believe this is a yellow. This is a yellow tomato. Just going to be careful opening it. When I was at the dollar store, I was looking for popsicle sticks to label, to use as labels because lab regular garden labels in the garden store are really expensive. So I was trying to come up with a cheaper way and the only thing I could come up with was using these tab dividers and I'll just write the name of the variety and slide it in. Pop it in. Seems to be fitting. And I'm gonna sew these black cherry tomatoes next. I'm gonna go heavy handed on the sewing of these because I want to get all these sewn today. So I'm going to be sowing this lemon cucumber. There's a hundred seeds in here, which is a great deal. This is the heirloom variety, and I'm so excited for this. I love, I'm not going to be sowing all of these. I really want to succession plant these, but I will be doing four per station. I'll probably succession plant in the next two weeks. And I have plenty more seeds in there. So next I'm going to be sowing these basil. Sprinkle maybe about 10 to 20 per station. This does come with 500 seeds so
And last but not least, I'm going to be sewing this habanero heirloom variety. I'm going to do five per station. It's later on in the evening and I actually want to harvest some kohlrabi and I'm gonna do that on camera and I've been growing this kohlrabi believe it or not since July and I've had problems with the kohlrabi actually swelling so if any of you have successfully grown kohlrabi let me know if you did any tips or tricks or if, or if you used a certain seed i'm just having a problem with them swelling up to the regular kohlrabi size that i want them to so this is my little kohlrabi patch see what i mean now it has not swelled up but i have one there that white one there that's kind of swelled up and then I have a purple one in here that that's the one I'm gonna harvest did not swell oh Robbie it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be a little soft it's supposed to be a lot softer and more fleshy but it smells great it's nice and sweet it's just, it is really woody. Well, hopefully that other one in there, it's better than this. So this will go into the compost over here. Let the worms eat it. They'll, they'll enjoy it. So I just pulled up some carrots that to see what they look like but my dogs love carrots so let's go give them to them and see if they eat them look at look mom's got homegrown carrots ready over here sit ow they've never had fresh carrots like that scarlet runner beans that I'm drying out. They're drying out nicely. Let's crack into one of them and see what's see the progress. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is honestly beautiful. I'm so proud of that. I think they want another one. <laughs> I'll give them one. Hello everybody and welcome to another clip in this garden vlog. I just got back from my local hardware store and I picked up a few seeds and I got a gourd. I got a watermelon and this is a larger watermelon. And I got a pumpkin, jack o lantern pumpkin and I got this because my other pumpkin seeds that I found that they're expired if anybody knows if I can use seeds that are past the date please let me know um, because I have pumpkin seeds that the packages aren't open yet um, if you know if I can still use them or if they will still germinate please let me know if I still am able to because I, I really don't know and then I got a serrano chili pepper and what else I got which I need to unload it from my trunk of my car is I got manure steer manure and then I got a bag of potting mix and I use manure in my raised beds I know not everybody agrees with that method not everybody does it that way but my my things that I grow do a lot better with the manure in the beds I noticed that I started putting manure in my beds I want to say maybe six months ago and I did notice a really really big difference in my plants so this is the potting mix that I decided to go with. It's from Kellogg's. It says Patio Plus, but if you read the label closer, it says 
potting mix. So I'm just going to use this. I don't get this every time, but this was the best dough that they had at the store. So I'm going to go ahead and put that and put it into here. mix it around. In That's it. Pans. I'm just going to be adding manure to both of these beds and to the bed in the back and to these two side beds right here. I know the nutrition uh, level is pretty low on these. I definitely worms in here though. If I dig deep enough. There's one right there. Whoa! He's doing the worm dance. Got some, there he is. He wants to go back in the dirt, so. Alright, so I've just topped these beds all off with manure, these two, I didn't do that one back there because that one's pretty high, it doesn't really need it. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, but I just, I didn't. I thought that these two beds needed it the most. And this onion bed back here because the soil was looking not that great. Hello you guys, welcome back to another clip of Sarah SoCal Garden Vlog. And I'm going to be sewing some things. It's later in the day than I would usually sew, but the next couple days are supposed to be 60 and above. So it's okay for me to sew some things. So the first thing that I'm going to be sewing is this Serrano Chili. And I love Serrano Chilies. I actually prefer them over jalapenos, but... I'm also growing jalapenos too. So I'm going to do four per station. I think serranos are just a slight spice. They're a, a notch above jalapenos. If you like spicy, this is a great chili to grow. So the next thing I'll be sewing is this pumpkin. This is the jack-o'-lantern variety from Burpee. Probably I can fit it in three. Let's see how many seeds we get. Well, we get quite a bit of seed. So I'm gonna do three per station. Next I'll be sowing this watermelon and this is the Jubilee variety. And I'm sowing this now because if I have success with the watermelon, this is going to take a very long time to be ready. There's the seed. It looks really cool. Okay, so I'm going to sow these straight in there. These are kind of large seeds, so I'll do three each. Just cover it. Hello everybody and welcome back to this vlog. It, today it's Saturday and it's supposed to be raining later on in the day. Right now it's about 10 in the morning. So I have to leave, but I won't be able to do very much gardening today. But 
I am definitely going to leave the rain buckets out and yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna leave the lid off of the rain barrel and then I, I put that right there. I'll put a couple of extra buckets in case it overflows. That should be good. The greenhouse is looking great despite the gloomy weather. Feels good. Just open it up real quick and check on it. Because even though it is raining, things can still dry out. Oh yeah, squash looks good. Mm, these tomatoes have not popped up yet. Those are doing good. Some of these, those are getting a little leggy, so I'm gonna have to tra transplant those tomatoes out soon. Got some new tomato seedlings popped up. Hello you guys, so it's nighttime now and I'm gonna go check on the rain barrels and the buckets I put out because I can see them from here and they look pretty full. That's it. They're really really full so I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling them up and put them here into my rain barrel. Hello everybody and welcome to another clip in this garden vlog. So today it's Sunday and it's really really clear. It's super overcast and bright but the garden got a good good drink of water. I won't have to water for you know the next couple of weeks um, and I did collect a lot of rainwater. Let me show you. Okay so this is the extra bucket of water. And then here in my rain barrel, I put the lid on it, whoops, but it is full to the top and I am happy. So what I do need to do today is, yesterday I, in that previous clip that I showed you guys with me at the garden center, um, I got to talking with the employee there, his name is Brian super nice guy he knew a ton about tomatoes and he rec he recommended me a tomato plant which i'll be showing you guys that i purchased and i also got several strawberry plants which i'll be putting in this bed right here beside me so this is the verma pro that i'm going to be sieving out the worm castings so I can start using them in when I start my seeds and also I'll be scattering them around the garden and I'm just going to be storing them for an extra boost of fertilizer for my plants. Okay, so now that the worm castings are gathered, now I'm going to make some compost tea 
and I'm not gonna brew it or anything like that. Whoa, I just seen the biggest slug ever in my compost. Oh my God, let me show you guys this. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what, I'm, I'll just leave him in there. I mean, he's not really hurting anybody. So as I was saying, I am going to dig up some compost from the bottom of my composter, put it in a bucket, put some rainwater in there, let it hang out for however long I want, and then I'm gonna feed my plants with that. And it's the quickest and easiest way to feed your plants with your own resources that you already have. It's pretty easy to do if you have your own compost already, or I guess if you bought in compost, I guess you could do it that way as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start digging away and get some compost from the bottom. Now what I need to do is sort through this compost and because I don't wanna put any worms in the tea, I'm gonna try my best not to. And then I'm gonna put the compost in there and and fill it with water. So there it is. There's my homemade compost tea. Now if I could find a stick, just stir it around. Okay, so next I'm gonna be sowing this sweet corn from Burpee and it comes with 200 seeds. I'm going to do four per station. I heard that corn takes a long time to germinate. So I will find out if that's true. Three, up four, and there. All right, you guys, so I just gave the whole entire back cottage garden a nice drink of compost tea. And then what I did with the compost on the bottom is I just put it there. You can, there's a worm already right there. So I gave every, every one of these beds a nice drink of compost tea, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna love it. Okay, so I'm going to sign off for this garden vlog. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more garden videos. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you that has subscribed. And I just love seeing my channel grow, like I said before in the past. So thank you everybody for watching and happy gardening. Bye.